Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I thought we would do a quick all signs uh, love read. How do they really feel about you? Let's get honest. It is Sunday. Sunday is all about honesty, right? Let's, let's find out what it is. How do they really feel about you? And also, how are you feeling about them? So I will probably... Uh, I can't even talk. I'll probably put timestamps and then you guys can go click your sign and find your timestamp. Look at this. My cards already want to speak. My cards are already speaking, guys. We're going to start with Aries and go through Pisces and um, just want to spend a two, three minutes on each sign. Nothing long because we know you guys, it's Easter. Happy Easter, by the way. Happy Easter to all who are celebrating. We know you're busy. You guys got uh, lives to lead, but this is just something quick and fun to do. So let's get down to it. One more shuffle and then we'll get right into Aries. Get right into the Aries, the honest truth. How does this person feel about Aries? Three cards for them, three cards for you. How does this person feel about Aries? Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit reversed. How's Aries feeling? The Hierophant reversed, the Six of Cups reversed. And we have the Seven Pentacles reversed. Well, Aries is not feeling it. Aries is not feeling it, are they? This person, uh, this person wants Aries. They see the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Pert the Knight of Pentacles. I'm making up words this morning. The Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit reversed. They want to come out. Maybe they've been watching Aries for a while. They want to come out, do some long-term investing. This is this is a long-term. This is not a player on this side. This side is not a player. This side feels like since. Aries is in the Six of Cups reversed, uh, the Hierophant reversed, and the Seven Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody wanting to come back to mend a relationship, but Aries, Aries is not interested. What is Aries interested in, real quick? What is Aries interested in? What is it for the Aries? Because they're not interested in this. The Chariot moving on, Cancer energy. Where's, where is Aries moving on to? What are they? What do they want? Five of Wands. I feel like that's work-related competition. Maybe you felt like you were in a comp. I uh, can't even talk, guys. I'm so sorry. Competitive situation over here. Yeah, you're just moving on. But where? What are they moving on to, Tarot? Come on, give it up, Tarot. Give it up. Yes, there was drama. They're moving on from the drama. We got that. But what is it? The Devil and Toxic. I don't know what you're moving on to, Aries. But this is what you're moving away from. This is the, what you're moving away from at the bottom is King of Cups and Knight of Cups. Could be a new love with the Pisces, but I'm really feeling like this is you just getting your balance back and go and um, just, you know, you're just a cruising. Knight of Cups is, 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 it's dreamy energy. It's the poet. And yeah, somebody be, can be making a love offer to you, but I feel like you got your balance back from this situation. That's what I'm feeling for you, Aries. But whoever you were dealing with, they still want you. They want you bad. They really do. But you are not having a Six of Cups reversed. This is someone from the past that you don't have fond memories of. Seven of Pentacles is no longer investing in the situation. You probably felt like you wasted your time, right? And if you felt like you wasted your time, you probably gave a lot of your time. And maybe this is one of those situations where uh, they didn't realize what they had until Aries was gone. So that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to switch decks for the rest of the signs because I love this deck, but it does not show up on camera. I absolutely love it. It's the black and gold tarot, but it is not showing up on camera. So we're going to switch it up. We're going to switch it up for Taurus so you guys can actually see the cards. Let's switch it up. Okay, Taurus. How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? And how does Taurus feel about this? How does this person feel about Taurus? Three cards for them, three cards for Taurus. How does this person feel about Taurus? Got temperance reversed. The sun. And the seven of wands. And what about for Taurus? How does Taurus feel about them? The world. Justice. And four of wands. Wow, now that is a reading. Tem for them, we've got temperance reversed. They're feeling unbalanced in the situation. This is something they clearly really wanted. They really wanted this with you. Seven of Wands, I mean, they were really, they're ready to fight for it. But for some reason, with the temperance reversed, they don't feel like it's going to happen. They don't feel like there is happiness here. 
And over here we have for Taurus, the world, the justice, and the four of wands. This could be Taurus just focusing on a new cycle. And this, this, the last two readings is feeling very past energy. So yeah, this is Taurus focusing on a new cycle, new world with the justice is just getting your balance back, the give and take. Um, you're, you're only going to be putting into situations that are going to give you something back. And I do feel like the four of wands is just you, you know, you live in your life, Taurus. This is where your focus is right now. Tell me more. What is the outcome between these two? What is the outcome? What is the outcome here? Eight of swords. A lot of worry. This, the, this relationship caused you a lot of stress, a lot of stress. Probably a lot of drama, def fighting. What is it? And the star, healing, healing from it. And uh, yep, four swords reversed. So again, I feel like this was past. This is something that somebody who really wanted something with Taurus, and maybe Taurus, or you know, vice versa. But this just looks like them going after their happiness. I mean, they're they're still you know defending defending their position with the seven of wands defending their this could even just be them focusing on their lives and their job but they do feel a bit unbalanced from the situation dealing with what whatever you guys were dealing with i don't feel like this person totally healed from it i do feel like you're in a better stronger position i think they're still kind of a bit stuck i mean the seven of wands is kind of still like defending like playing it in their head what went wrong what could i have fixed with the sun card over here, Taurus is already like in a new cycle. They're in the world, the justice. They're looking for like what's fair, what's gonna what's gonna serve their higher interests. With the four of wands, what's gonna bring a long-term foundation? A long-term foundation. Like, give me one more card on that. What is Taurus? What is what is this? Is this work? Is this love? What is Taurus focusing on? Six of Pentacles, of fairness. Again, that's the minor arcana card, major and a minor of the same thing. You're just going after what is going to bring you long-term success. Um, again, you probably were in a situation where it was just unbalanced. I mean, the temperance reverse speaks of imbalance. Maybe this situation you gave more than that you got back. You had to leave this situation. They're still ready to fight for it. I do feel like this. They're still ready to fight for it and go back into it. But you're in a new world. You're not in a world reversed over here, Taurus. Taurus moved on and Taurus is only investing in energies that give, you know, that bring them long-term success. Because we have the Knight of Swords reversed. I was going to say is the outcome, the total outcome. There's going to be no action here. There is no action. Yeah, look at that. Two of Wands reversed. I think you made a decision a while ago that this isn't going to work out for you. But Taurus, I do feel like this person would go another round. I think this person hasn't um, healed from you. But I feel like you... I hate to be like this, like it's a like it's a game, like Taurus healed more than they healed, you know? That's kind of childish, but that's how I feel. I feel like this person, that person, whoever you're dealing with Taurus is still a bit stuck on you. I don't think Taurus is stuck on them. I don't. I think Taurus is focusing on their future. Okay, we have now Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, what's for Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? And how does Gemini feel about this person? Is this like breakup energy? Is this breakup Sunday? I think we're just, you know what I've noticed that in a lot of the readings is self-focused and career focused and foundation focused. A lot of people are healing from a very heavy, heavy relationships. You know, that taught them a lot of lessons and put them through a lot of pain. Okay, Gemini. What is this person thinking about Gemini? Three cards. Lovers reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. And the Knight of Swords. Same story as Taurus. What is, how is this, how is Gemini feeling about this person they're, they have on their mind? The Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Wands reversed. <laughs> and the Death card. This is so three signs, same story, but different versions. That's how, you know what? This is why, let me just say this. This is why you guys should watch all, when you watch readings, try to watch as many signs as you can. Most people have all signs in their chart, but different signs will give you different aspects of the same story that kind of give you a clearer picture. Just want to put that out there. So this person clearly, lovers reverse. There was a breakup, but they're still stuck in their emotions. And the Knight of Swords, they want to fight for you, Gemini. Whoever you're dealing with, they have a lot of emotions and they can't. They're, they can't get out of it. They can't get away from you. You, on the other hand, are a nine of pentacles. 
I mean, you, you, this is a very independent doing well. This is, I mean, I, I feel like you guys got your happiness back. And if for to say that, you probably weren't very happy, especially towards the end. There was probably a lot of drama, a lot of heartbreak, but it took you a while because now you're in the five of wands reversed. You, you're, you don't want the drama. You don't want the drama. You're living like, I feel like we're in spring and it's new beginnings. And in the season of your life, you're finally in spring. This was like the winter of your life. And it took you a long time of like this, you know, just, it took you, I feel like whoever I'm speaking for, this, it took you a while to get out of this. And now you're out of it. This person's still in it. I got to tell you. Death card is death and rebirth. You're, you're in a new beginning of your life. I mean, yeah, avoiding drama, self-focus is such a clear story. But this person will still, still wants, still wants uh, passionately wants to come towards you because they can't get over you. Eight of Cups reversed. They cannot get over you, Gemini. Tell me the outcome of these two. What is the outcome? Three cards. What's the outcome? Three of Cups reversed. Hierophant reversed. And the Four of Swords reversed. Restless energy. I feel like this is them. Restless energy is over here. This is three of cups reversed and hierophant reversed. There's no coming back together. There isn't. What's Gemini folk? What, what, where's Gemini going with this? Give me a card for Gemini. What's Gemini focusing on with on that nine of pentacles, the sun reverse? Getting your happiness back. So for, for it to come out reverse, you know, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. But when it comes out reverse, you're just not quite there yet. But you're very close, Gemini. I feel like the nine, the nine of wands, don't give up. You're close. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're focusing, whatever your focus is, stay with that. Because the sun reverse is happiness is just around the corner. That's what I feel for you. That's what I feel for you guys. But yeah. In summary, this person's really stuck on you. They can't get past you, but you are you are feeling good. I think that's why with the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun Reverse, you're you're really close, Gemini. And I think this is one of those things you probably feel like you're close, but if you would take if you would step back from your life and really look at it and really look how far you've come, because I feel like you were really in a mess over here, you'd probably realize you're really the Sun Reversed. You you really have everything you need. Nine of Pentacles, she has everything she, she needs. She just, sometimes when you're in it, you don't really see it for what it is. And I think you guys found your happiness, but you're just pushing, pushing, pushing. Like the death card. You're pushing forward. You're, you're pushing yourselves out of this because that's how hard I'm feeling it was. This was heavy shit. That's what I'm feeling. Sorry, it's Sunday and I'm cussing. But this was some heavy energy. But that's what I have for you guys. That's what I have, Geminis. That's what I have. Let me get a drink of my coffee. Okay, okay, okay. We have Cancer next. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. How does this feel, person feel about Cancer? And how does Cancer feel about them? The honest truth. We need the honest truth up in here. No lies on Sunday. Unless you guys want to do some repenting. No lies on Sunday, right? How does this person feel about Cancer? Three cards, and how does Cancer, oh, that's it. How does Cancer feel about them? I need three cards. How does this person feel about Cancer? Nine of Pentacles reversed. So when you're dealing with the Gemini. <laughs> Nine of Swords reversed. Same cards. Oh, and two of Swords. This person's getting their piece back. How does Cancer feel about them? How does cancer feel about them? And you guys do know energy can go both ways. Even though I'm saying this, it could be reversed. So take it as it resonates. How does cancer feel about them? The Ten of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. And the Knight of Cups. We do have a huh, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Just want to put that out there. I forgot to look for the other signs, but for you, I felt like the need to look. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles for them. Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Knight of Swords reverse, and the Two of Swords. This person, when when you guys had a breakup, because this is clearly a breakup. I mean, it, it's either a break. Well, no, this is definitely a breakup. I was gonna say maybe a fight, but we you have the Ten of Swords, Gemini or Gemini. Sorry, Cancer can't put one more sword in their back. That, that this is done. But how they're feeling is they're they're lost. Knight of Swords reverse and Nine of Pentacles. I'm really feeling like they're lost. They are really lost when, and I feel like you probably left them with the Ten of Swords, whatever they did, you know, the, the, what, was, what is that? The needle that broke the camel's back, the, the stick that broke the camel's back, I don't know. I feel like they did something and you were just done. You were so done. 
But yeah, when you pulled away, I think it shocked the hell out of them. Shocked the shit out of them, I wanted to say. Oop, cussed twice now. Nine of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. And the Knight of Swords reverse, I mean, look at that horse. He's like, he is tired. I mean, this person, when you left, I, I just feel like they, they, they didn't know what was up or down. Now they're trying to get their balance back. They're in the Two of Swords. They're in the in-between. So if you wonder like if they're dealing with somebody else, I don't feel like they are. I think they're within. I think they're spending a lot of time alone and within trying to understand what, why you left. And you, on the other hand, are in the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles reversed, and the, the Knight of Cups. You, I mean, look at that. That speaks for itself, doesn't it? The Ten of Swords and the, Knight, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's like, I mean, you're just done. You're no longer investing any more time and energy into the situation. because Now you're going after something else. Knight of Cups, this is Cancer. Going after something, just something that finally moves you. It's like, I almost feel like the judgment card here. It's like you feel alive again. What is Cancer focusing on? What is this Knight focusing on? Tell me, a, give me three cards on that. Give me three cards on this Knight. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Nine of Wands reversed, and the King of Wands reversed. Yeah, it's it's still speaking of past energy, no longer building. You're no longer building and it's with these kind of fearful, how I feel like this is like the Nine of Wands and the King of Wands right here. It's, it's somebody who presents themselves as having it all together. You know, they go after what they want. They're confident, they're passionate, but they're nine of wands reverse inside. On the outside, they present themselves as a king of wands. Inside, they're a nine of wands reverse. They're full of fear. They're all talk, no action. Three of pentacles is you no longer working on that. Um, yeah, look at that. The bottom of the deck is ace of wands reverse. It's just, okay, can I try to get one more card? This is talking past again. Can I get one more card? What is cancer focusing on? What, what is cancer, what's cancer's focus right now? Star reversed. Just healing. Healing from this. I think you both are hurt from the situation. What's the outcome between these two? What's going to happen between these two? Is there any hope? Maybe you two are just gone to your separate corners right now. Because you guys, I feel like, are in the same. Where they, they would want to work on it. But they're trying to get their inner peace back. You're trying to find, you know... You're trying to find that happiness again, that, it, you know, what moves you, what, what moves your soul, what, it could even be new love. You're open to new love. What is, can't, what is the outcome between these two? Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, it's, it's possible. I think you would open up to a new beginning and to a new opportunity if they're, if it's going to be fair. Um, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I did. I'll be honest. I didn't expect that. But you are open to a new beginning and to a new offer with them. Only if, I mean, they have to open their heart. And for this card to pop up, I maybe, maybe they were, um, it was, they kind of breadcrumbed you in the past. Um, you did a lot of the work. You, I mean, I feel like you with the Ten of Swords, you, you put a lot of effort into this in the Seven of Pentacles. You put a lot of effort in this, but only if they bring it 50-50 at least, at least. They're going to have to work for you, Cancer, put it that way. But this is kind of, I feel like they didn't, you know, what is that? They didn't realize what they had until it was gone kind of situation. Same thing as I believe uh, Aries had that. Okay, so, oh, geez, break my deck. Um, now we have Leo. Now we have Leo, 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 Leo. What is this person? What's going on in Leo's love life? What is this person feeling about Leo? And what is Leo feeling about them? What is it? What is this person feeling about Leo? And what is Leo feeling about them? Three cards. Three cards for Leo. And three, or three cards for them and three cards for Leo. Okay, I gotta put my leg down. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. Three cards for the person who, what does this person feel for Leo? Honestly, what what is on Leo's mind? Who? What is this person going through? What are they feeling for Leo? Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Decisions, decisions, Nine of Wands. Well, how does Leo feel about them? How does Leo feel about them? How does Leo feel about them? Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Strength. There you are, Leo. 
and the death reversed. Wow, finally, we, I think we're in something new here. The other, the other uh, signs are about old. Two, this is two of, two of Swords and Two of Pentacles is making a decision, right? Nine of Wands, kind of fearful. This person, I feel like, because Two of Pentacles is investing, and it's, it's being flexible and, you know, the whole balance and, and being open. It's like trying to keep your balance when um, emotions and different situations arise. Two of, two of Swords is they're going within. I think this person is trying to make a decision on moving forward with you, but there's just a lot of fear. This is a lot of fear. Before I move on to Leo, give me a card on this. On Leo's side, what, what are they afraid of? What is this person on Leo's mind? What are they afraid of? Wheel of Fortune. Is this, an, is this someone from the past, Leo? Is this someone from the past? Because I feel like this is past right here with a death reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Give me another one. What is this person afraid of? What is this person afraid of? Ten of Wands. I feel like this person going back in, they feel like it's going to be more, it's going to, it's more burden. It's going to be more of a burden. With the nine of wands reversed, the 10 of wands upright and the wheel of fortune. It's like a, a, this relationship, they viewed it as a burden. And this could be you about them too, Leo, because you know how energy works. On your side is the ace of pentacles, the strength card and the, and the death card. What is the, what is the death card about? Death reversed. What is Leo stuck? You're holding back on this. So what I'm almost feeling like there's a new beginning here, Leo, with somebody you dealt with in the past. It's available, but you're holding back. You're still stuck on it, though. You're not out of this. If, you, if you're thinking you're out of it, you're not out of it. Your energy is still there. Death reversed, you're still stuck in here. So let's see. What, is, what are they stuck on? What is Leo stuck on the death reversed? What is it? Nine of Pentacles reverse. This, this 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 situation left you feeling this way, and I gotta say that they they were unbalanced too with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords coming out. It, it, they didn't come out of this smelling like roses either. And if they uh, presented themselves, maybe they presented themselves like this. They were if they presented themselves like they were unaffected, they weren't. Ace of so there's a new opportunity here. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Leo? Is this what is this? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning. Yeah, Knight of Swords. I feel like this is this, this situation. I think they they want you, Leo. They want, they want another round. I But I, something tells me with the Strength card, even though this is on your side, they don't feel like, A, they don't feel like you want it, and they're holding back. With the Knight of Wands reversed, they're holding back. We have two cards of holding back. And maybe they're holding back because you look like you're doing on the outside. Maybe they're watching you on social media or whatever. They, you, you're looking like you moved on from them. That's what I'm getting. But inside over here with the death reverse, you haven't. You, ha you haven't. But I don't think they know that, Leo. I think you're keeping some big secrets, some pretty big secrets. I think you might be open to this new opportunity. But but this person, whoever you're dealing with, I think they the two of swords and the two of pentacles, they're deciding to to go like, you know, to offer you this. But they just have this fear because holding back and holding back. They're holding back because they feel like you moved on. What is the outcome between these two? Three cards. What is the outcome? What is the outcome between these two? King of pentacles reversed, knight of cups reversed, and the eight of wands reversed. Ah, <sighs> King of Pentacles reverse is no longer, it's just, yeah, there's going to be no longer, no long-term investment here. The Knight of Cups and, and with the Eight of Wands reverse, it's like blocks and communication. Yeah, I don't feel like you two are even talking. And the Knight of Cups is, I, I just feel like, Leo, this is you. I, I really do. This card keeps coming out today. I think this is you focusing on this Ace of Pentacles. I think you're focusing, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, I think go strong together. This is you, foc your focus is elsewhere. And the King of Pentacles reversed and, and the Eight of Pentacles reversed, there's a block in this communication. I, you may have even blocked this energy. But, I, but in summary, I feel like they've been watching you. I think they, they would go for another new beginning. I think there's, this is just like a waiting too. They're just waiting to see what you do. They're watching you. The Nine of Wands, they have too much fear. They're holding back. 
because they see you're in this ace of pentacles mode you're in something new or they perceive it as that at least i mean if you're putting it out there there that's what they're catching that you've moved on and you're holding back from them i mean look at that major arcana i i feel like they don't feel like they can get you back to be honest but with this death reverse i feel like your energy is still with them and maybe this is what you're trying to heal you're not trying to put a whole lot of time in because this energy really shook you the nine of pentacles reversed this breakup it really did it, it there was there was a shake up there that that's a loss of balance and this is i mean i feel like you're trying not even to think about this relationship you're trying to think of something new but okay leo that's what i have for you i do i do that's what i have for you guys now let's move on to virgos my lovely virgos what is going on with the virgos i'm sure virgo it's sunday you guys are probably organizing a closet or something living your best life Okay, Virgo, what is going on with the Virgos? How does this person, three cards, how does this person feel for Virgo? Tell me how this person feels for Virgo. How does this person feel for Virgo? Three cards. How does this person feel for Virgo? Three cards. How does this person feel for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. How does this person feel for Virgo? Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles reversed, and the Queen of Swords. Oof. How does Virgo feel for them? How does Virgo feel for them? How does Virgo feel for them? Star reversed, World reversed, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Three major arcana. That's how you feel for them. Oh, bottom of the deck, deck is Justice. Look at that. And it's you, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles, Justice. And the Knight of Cups. Gosh, this guy won't leave my readings alone today. Look at that. Pisces just like, I'm here. I'm, I'm still here, guys. I'm still here. I'm holding in here in every single reading. I got something to say. I'm going to put that up there. I feel like that needs to be shown. This is this is what you don't see underneath. And I feel like, and I put it over here. I feel like this is on Virgo sign. Over here is somebody, somebody, basically, whoever you were dealing with, Virgo, they're they're done. They have the Queen of Swords. They have got their boundaries up to this. They're no longer wanting to work on it with the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Swords. Their boundaries up. And they're, you know, they're they're feeling good. They're in the Four of Swords. If you're wondering if they're dealing with somebody, it's not showing here. I don't know if they have someone new or not. I don't think they do. I think they're just focusing on themselves and, you know, healing from this. They're healing from the, what didn't work out. But they do, they do have their Queen of Swords up. The Queen of Swords is like... You know, she's not emotionally feely person. It's kind of like, I feel like, it's kind of like those energies, like you wonder, should I reach out or not? If you reach out, they're ready for you. They are. And I'm not saying they don't want you. That's not what's being said here. But I think initially it feels like you probably left them. And it's like, I think they want to give it back to you. And then after they give it back to you, they might be like, okay, okay, okay. Now that I got that out of my way. But over here, we have you as the star reverse, the world reverse, and the wheel of fortune reverse. You're clearly still stuck here. You are stuck. Three major arcana. This, this to me, feels very soulmate-y. This feels like twin flamey, if you want to say that. I, I, I don't really believe in twin flames. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. But this, this feels like something really, really strong that you, you had to go through. Three major arcana. This was, this was destined. The beginning of this, during this, and ending. The ending of this is destined. We have the justice here. You had to learn some tough lessons. What lessons did you have to learn, Virgo? You had to invest in yourself. Look at this. You had to invest in yourself. Long-term success. You want long-term success, Virgo? You need to have that self-confidence. Justice. You know, and it shows up because you gave too much of yourself. You gave yourself away to this situation. Whatever this was whoever this was i think you gave way too much of yourself and it left you dry and you know did you did you guys ever watch spongebob you and if you ever see spongebob when he comes out of the ocean after like 30 seconds he's like a dry sponge that's what i feel like with the star reversed here it's parched it's dry earth because you gave so much of your healing energy to this world reverse though and and you it, you're having a hell of a time trying to get out of it world and the wheel of fortune reversed it, having it this is this is and, and it is a wheel it's coming back around it's i feel like you guys are almost there what what is tell me about this why, why is virgo so stuck why is virgo so stuck here 
Why is Virgo so stuck on this person? I mean, what are they? What, what does this person have over Virgo? What is this? King of Swords reversed. Two, one, two more. King of Cups reversed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One more. And the Three of Wands. They had, they had you waiting. Shoot, Virgo. You were waiting. You know why? Because you thought you were doing with the King of Cups. You thought this was your end-all be-all. This is a person you saw as like they were fair in their love. And, and I feel like, and with the King of Swords, this is who they really were. You see these butterflies on the behind the King of Swords? They're made of stone. It does talk about transformation, but I think that's you, Virgo. I think this relationship transformed you, which is why it's three major arcana cards. I feel like this person, this is who you were dealing with, reverse. They weren't emotional. They were not emotionally available. They, ke they kept very strong boundaries up. And I feel like you kept pushing, trying to break those boundaries down, but you never could. You knew there was feelings there. And clearly over here, there was feelings there. But maybe maybe they were married. They were in a long-term relationship. There was something. They were not letting you in. They were not allowing these feelings to come in, I want to say. they. I mean, there's a lot of stone going on on this left side. And the and same thing with the queen, uh, King of Swords reversed. This is just somebody who is very emotionally unavailable. You thought you were dealing with somebody. If you tried hard enough, this is who you were going to... You were going to turn a King of Swords reverse into a King of Cups if you hung in there. And yet you waited and you waited with the Three of Wands and you waited and you waited. But now Justice is here. And Tarot is saying, Virgo, it's time to invest in yourself. Fairness is, fairness is going after something, one that moves you, that will give you back what you give in, right? The Knight of Cups. It's time to take your energy and love out of this. This, this there's, there's no, give me, there's no happy ending. As I say that, give me three cards. Watch Tarot contradict me. What's, what's the outcome for these, these two kids? What's the outcome for these two kids over here? What is the outcome for Virgo? Five of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed, and the Death reversed. I feel like they're still stuck on you for some reason, Virgo. They wouldn't let you in. They would not let you in. Either they were married, they were in a long-term relationship. There is something that they couldn't allow this in. I feel intuitively they had feelings for you. If you wondered that, I do feel like they had feelings for you. This left them with a lot of regret. And two of Pentacles reverse that left them unbalanced in this. They feel like they lost something. With the death reverse, they're still, emotionally, they're still there. Energetically, they're still there. But Tarot is saying, Virgo, it's time to go after your own Knight of Cups, whatever that is for you. Open yourself up. And with the King of Cups, I know, where did we see him? Right here. Be the King of Cups. Open yourself up to other opportunities. Start picking a new path because this path isn't it. Okay, Virgos, that's what I have for you. Let's move on to Libra. Let's move on to Libra. You know, it is good to realize sometimes these tough lessons. What is that saying? Rejection is God's protection. These tough lessons, you know, God has to give you what you don't want. So when something it is that you do want, you'll be like, oh, wow. And I feel like for a lot of you, especially 2022, 2023, I think are, are going to be great love years. But not that. I'm feeling very Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to have your long-term success and then you'll attract the right kind of love. And once you attract that right kind of love, you're going to look back at this and be like, what the hell was I doing? What was this? Why did I waste so much energy here? Why? What What was this person? I, th I That's what I feel is what people are going through. I feel like this is a transitional this is a transitional year. Okay, Libra, you're up. You're up, Libra. So let's see. How does this person feel for Libra? Three cards. How does this person feel for Libra? Libra, Libra, Libra. Three cards. Ace of Swords. Four of Pentacles reversed. And the Hermit reversed. Okay, well, how does Libra feel for them? Three cards. How does the Libras feel for them? It is... The strength card, Libra. Ooh, the Knight of Swords, playing hard to get, are we? And the King of Cups. The Look at this bottom of the deck is the world. I love it. The world up here. New cycle. This is so cute. Ace of Swords is clarity. This, this person, how they feel for Libra, I feel like, again, this is probably past. 
I mean, a lot of past energy. I don't know where this new energy is. Maybe next year the new energy is coming. Who knows? Ace of Swords, this person got real clear, Libra, how they feel about you. But they didn't get clear until it was a breakup. Four of Wands reversed and the Hermit reversed. It wasn't until you left their life did they realize, you left their cave, did they realize what they had. They're real clear on it now, though. Ace of Swords. What, if, what they're going to do with it, I don't know. How you're feeling is you're holding back very strongly. Knight of Swords. Going after what? What you love. King of Cups. What fulfills you. This is emotionally balanced. For this to show up, I feel like in the past you were, with, maybe with the situation, you were emotionally unbalanced. But you got your balance back. This is Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. Now some of you could be passionately going towards or you're in a new relationship with a Scorpio. Scorpio is all over these readings today. They really are with the death and whatever. So yeah, the King of Cups. But I almost feel like this is you, Libra. I feel like you got your balance back. You, you picked a direction and now this is where you're headed. Knight of Swords. I mean, that's fast energy. The Knight of Swords is so fast. He almost It's like not even appreciating you know, um, not even like taking time to smell the roses kind of thing. You're just trying to, you're like work, 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 work. And maybe you had to get into this energy to get you out of this past energy. This breakup probably really did you in, which is why you're a strong Leo over here holding yourself back. I think you're holding yourself back and I'm trying, I'm feeling like you're not, you're, you're trying to distract yourself so you don't even think about the situation over here. But yeah, you're in the King of Cups. You're, you're, you're finding your balance. You're probably being around, you know, if you're a single parent, you're around, you know, your kids, your family, your friends. You're trying to do things that just make you happy. You're in a new cycle. You're in a new cycle. This isn't reversed. But I feel like in the past you were stuck here. Now, uh, for this person, yeah, they got clarity. They got some clarity, right, Ace of Swords? But I don't think they got that clarity until you left them. That's just what I'm feeling with this. What is the outcome here? For these for these two kids what is the outcome what is the outcome for libra and their person they have on their mind what is the outcome lovers reversed five of pentacles yeah six of swords i feel like physically you guys it's not going to happen i feel like i feel like this is where this person is at and this is where you were at five of pentacles is being left out in the cold when you had a breakup and i feel like you broke up with them you left them with the four of wands reverse could be divorce long-term relationship um maybe it was the, the the hope of having the four of wands with this person but you left them and they fell out in the cold six of swords is both of you energetically i feel like you both are in this but i th i feel like because you know you're still in this you're trying to put, get in your heart space more in the King of Cups. You're trying to get out of your mind and you're trying to focus on anything but this because you know, Libra, you know this isn't good for you. You know this isn't going to work for you. And look at that right before the Six of Swords is the devil. So I do feel in devil upright. I feel like you feel like you're chained to this person, chained to this situation. And maybe with the Six of Cups here, it is soulmate. Six of Cups reverse. This is some soulmate shit, you know. This is, this is some hard, this is a hard thing to break. Which is why you're, you're just focusing. You're really putting a lot of energy out of this to get you out of this until something new comes along. You're open. I can't get past that. The King of Cups is you and this is you open to new love, open to new possibilities. But yep, that's what I have for you, Libra. That's what I have for you. Okay, we're going to move on to Scorpio. I got to get a drink of coffee. Sorry, guys. And I try to be quiet because I hate hearing people drink. I hate it kissing and drinking well you shouldn't hear me kissing because well i haven't kissed anyone in 20 years let's get real that's just not no uh-uh i can't believe i put that on a video but seriously uh-uh you won't hear that but ser I, I hate hearing drinking eating and kissing on videos yuck 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 so i try to be quiet but yet i want my coffee you see the dilemma you see the dilemma guys okay Let's get on to this. What's Scorpio about? Tell me about Scorpio here. What is going on with Scorpio in their person? What is going on with the Scorpio in their person? What is it? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. How does this person feel about Scorpio? How does this person feel about Scorpio? Yeah, these cards wanted to come out. We're going to put you back in. How does this person feel about Scorpio? I 
felt so pent up energy. Scorpio, are you tense? Is this person tense? It's like a hard time breathing all of a sudden. I feel so much tension. My God, Scorpio. You angry? Are they angry? Okay, three cards. Hierophant. Seven of Cups reversed. Ooh, there you are, Scorpio. Are you dealing with Scorpio? How does Scorpio feel about this person? How does this person feel about Scorpio? Or, how, sorry, how does Scorpio feel about this person? Tarot, tell me. How does this person... I can't say it. You know, for me to keep saying that, guys... I just want to put this i almost feel like this is scorpio on this side this is this is the only reading i feel like it's flipped and this is going to be that person for some of you that's going to be the case because i can't stop saying it and you're over here scorpio but so for some of you if this is your story you're going to know i feel like this might be scorpio on this side but i'm going to keep with the same pattern that i've done with all the other readings how does scorpio feel about this person how does scorpio feel about this person and take those ducks as a confirmation how does Scorpio feel about this person three cards knight of swords reversed ten of wands reversed and the wheel of fortune bottom of the deck ace of pentacles reversed Scorpio feels like this was a burden and knight of swords if you ever notice the knight of swords look at the horse when he's upside down this is when you this is when you push yourself so hard the knight of swords is fast action movement he's trying to get everything done it's almost like a workaholic trying to you know what it also reminds me of like when you go to the grocery store and you carry 50 bags so you could you only take one trip you know you don't want to take two trips but this this is when you push yourself too hard and the horse looks exhausted he looks like he's ready to collapse this is when you push yourself too hard with the ten of wands this is you whatever you guys are doing if this is work i know this is a love reading but i almost feel like some of you this could be work but with the ten of wands is i mean it, you guys are overdoing it and maybe many of you were overdoing it in this situation with this relationship you tried so hard to make it work you you gave literally everything you had back breaking to make this work to to put you in this wheel of fortune if this is like working if this was like trying to get a marriage it's like working 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 to try to get ahead right but i feel like it's trying to get this off the ground because the ace of pentacles reverses up here it's not it's not for whatever reason it's not coming together how this person feels about you is the hierophant the seven of cups reverse and the death card they know you're the who they want clearly that's what this is saying they know who they want they want a new beginning with you they're willing to let these other six cups die and for that to come up, they probably made, you probably felt like you were an option, which is the 10 of wands. I mean, you carried that burden because this person made you feel like an option. This person put you in competitive situations, made you feel like, you know, you got to keep trying Scorpio. You got to keep, keep hanging in there. Keep trying to get their attention. It almost feels like they're like needy for so much attention and you fed them. You kept feeding and feeding and feeding them. And finally you, you just had nothing left for yourself to give. And this is you guys focusing. I feel like this is you guys in a new cycle in your life. You had to leave this behind. And it wasn't until you left this behind that they realized you were the one that got away. I mean, they, they do want it. The Seven of Cups reverse and the, the death card. They, you know, they're willing to let that old, your old relationship, your old cycle die. And they want a new beginning here. And because you're the cup, it's like the illusions are gone. But, you know, I'm getting very player mode here. I can't help it. I'm getting player. And this might be one of those things where it's I pro they promise one thing, but if you if you go back with the wheel, I think this wheel is going to start spinning backwards. For for some of you, I feel like when you left the situation, good things started to go your way finally. Maybe you felt like good luck was going your way. If you go back to it, the wheel might go start going backwards. And very quickly, I feel like this person's going to go backwards and they're, they're going to be the seven of cups again. Maybe they talk to people online. Maybe you thought they were talking to people online. It's just an untrustworthy energy. They kept you confused. You were like in this illusion. You were just one of many cups to them, one of many options to them. So people like that, it's like they, they, they're always living in the past. It's you left them and they're now focusing on you while they probably are dealing with new energies. They could be dealing with someone new, just like when they were dealing with you, they were thinking of the person who left them. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, what is the outcome between these two? Give me three cards. What is the outcome? I feel like I got to shuffle for some reason. I go with it. If I feel it, I got to do it. What's the outcome? Give me three cards for Scorpio here. What is the outcome for Scorpio? Five of Cups, regret, judgment reverse. Yeah, and Six of Pentacles. 
yeah this is this is you going again for this to pop up it was reversed when you were dealing with them you they breadcrumbed you simple as that you pushed yourself to be everything to them you pushed yourself to be everything to them and it became a more of a burden than any, an act of love you know and this is this is where your focus is is fairness and you you want to be fed for once this was you this was you in the situation waiting for them to even notice you exist and they were given their energy to everybody but you but this is this is what you want i mean you 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 want to be noticed and this is i feel like this is you now feeding yourselves because why the judgment reversed i mean you saw the signs you knew what was going on but you just couldn't get yourselves out of it for the longest time and i mean these people look they're lifeless they're 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 pale because they gave everything they had they gave all of their life force to to a certain situation and your wake-up call is here with the trumpet being blown your wake-up car call is here you're finally awakening slowly awakening to what you've been in five of cups to reverse i feel like this could be both of you mostly them this is a card of regret this is focusing on what you don't have and uh ignoring what you do have this when it's upright like this i feel like upright is when you were in the situation they were always focusing on other cups other than yours you were you were back here full always always filling their cups always filling their love always be in there for them when you left they're in regret but i don't feel like you're now on this card it's kind of like you went to this town over here and they're looking they're looking like where did scorpio go who's going to fill my cup now scorpio is no longer here but yeah so long story short guys this person has a lot of regret they know that you're the one but i think they know that you're also the one who got away this is where scorpio is now wheel of fortune and six of pentacles you're looking for balance and fairness and uh, what's going to bring you long-term success. It's the pentacles reversed or otherwise reversed is I feel like it's in the situation, but I feel like this is what you're focused on. Ace of pentacles. You're, you're in a new beginning, especially with that wheel of fortune, Scorpio. You're in a new beginning. It's just not with that situation. Got to let things go to bring in, let new things come in, right? It's your card, Scorpio, death and rebirth. But you guys are a fixed sign. You have a hard time of letting things go. You really do. And um, yeah, so you just have to learn to be a little bit a little bit more flexible and go with the flow and try to, as best you can, let the past go. Don't let it dictate where you're heading. Don't bring those energies into your future. It might limit it. Okay, and let's move on to Sagittarius. What is our Saggies doing, the fire signs? What is this person feeling about Sagittarius? And how does this, how does Sagittarius feel about this person? How do they? Okay, okay, okay. Sag, three cards for you. Or not for you, three cards. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? How is it? Three of Cups reversed. Three of Pentacles upright. Oh my gosh. And the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, three cards for Sagittarius. Three cards for Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? Lovers. Three of Wands. Look at all the threes. Is this a third party? Are we talking third party? Kind of hard to ignore that. We got three threes out here. And the Four of Swords reversed. At the bottom, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Cups. Off the top of my head, I feel like this is third party. This is definitely third party. We got the three of cups reversed and the three of pentacles. Somebody wants to build, but the, it's like, I don't feel like they feel like it's going to go long-term success. You know, with the three of pentacles reversed, do they want to? Yes. Do they feel like the happiness is going to happen? No. Knight of wands reversed. There's your card, Sagittarius. Is The passion is still there, but there's no movement forward towards it. I mean, yeah, upright or reverse, the passion is there, but one is going towards it passionately and the other one is stopped and holding it within. Yeah, I feel like they wanna build, but they feel like they can't. Maybe this is kind of where you both have feelings for somebody, but there's a marriage we're talking here. There's some reason that you two can't be together because in your feelings is the lovers and the three of wands, you know this is who you want. I mean, there's so much fire here. I'm surprised my table hasn't um, burned up. Look at this, three of wands and lovers. You are so passionate about this person and you feel four swords reversed. I feel like this is a card of anxiousness, restlessness, because you want it. You clearly want it. But there is, 
the offer is there, but it's not being taken with the Page of Cups. This is between both of you, the Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So for both of you, I feel like you both want each other, but there is a strong boundary keeping you two apart. Look at this, higher font reverse and the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there, there's, there's definitely a marriage here. There is a Two of Cups reverse. Maybe, maybe with the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming, maybe this person over here is, is fixing to divorce or leave this long-term situation. And maybe this is what you're waiting for. And this is why you're restless because maybe they're saying, you know, it's going to happen. Just have patience, just have patience. But you're starting to lose your shit. You're starting to lose your patience over here. And the Knight of Pentacles reverse talks about um, trying to manage um, negative, um, what is that? Uh, negative expectations. So this is when you, you, you're at 3 a.m. or shoot, not even 3 a.m., probably all day. It's probably all consuming for some of you out there. And you know, you're thinking of every bad thing. Maybe they're, they got other people. Maybe they really don't want me. Maybe they've been playing with me. That's the Knight of Pentacles reversed. But I do feel also, this is, if we're just talking about Sagittarius, this is what I feel like it's going in your mind. This is overall, I feel like you made the offer to them or they made an offer to you, but I almost feel like you made the offer to them, but their, their, their hands are tied with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. They want it. They just can't invest in it right now. So yeah, this is kind of like, this is a Romeo and Juliet. Something's keeping you two apart. You both want each other, but something's keeping you two apart. So that's what I have for this Sunday roundup. Okay, Capricorn, let's move on. Capricorn, what is going on with Capricorn and their person? How does this person feel about Capricorn and Capricorn about them? Okay, it's love. So Capricorn, are we just gonna get money? How you feel about your money? And how your money feels about you? I know, stupid joke, right? Stupid joke, okay. Capricorn, Capricorn, how does this person feel about Capricorn three cards. How does this person feel about Capricorn three cards? How does this person feel about Capricorn? Two of Cups reversed, Magician reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. And how does Capricorn feel about them? How does Capricorn feel about them? The Knight of Wands reversed, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Oh, guys. Yeah, this person, it, this feels like a breakup. This definitely feels like a breakup. And I feel like they they, they can't make it happen. Two of Cups reverse and the Magician reverse. They, they can't. They can't make it happen, Capricorn. And it's leaving them in the Ten of Swords reverse. They can't get over you. They want you. I think with the Two of Cups, they feel you're their soulmate. Magician is, normally a magician feels like they have everything at their disposal to make something happen. But here they feel like their hands are tied and they absolutely can't move forward with you. But it's leaving them in the Ten of Swords reverse. They're stuck. They're stuck on you, Capricorn. If you wondered about that, if this is a breakup and on the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Wands reverse. They have to turn their back on this or you're turning your back on this. It's, it's waiting for your ships that will never come in kind of thing. Their hands are tied. This is a lot like Sagittarius is reading because over here we have the Knight of Swords reversed, the Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords. You want them too. You clearly want them. In the center, we have an offer that was made. I feel like this is you, Capricorn, making an offer. And you're passionate about them, but you can't move forward. And when it's reversed, the, this, the Knight of Wands, the passion is still there. The fire is still there. But for some reason, you can't move towards it. And it's leaving you in the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a mental torture, up all night kind of card. This is all consuming. I feel like all day, you probably try to get your mind off of this person, but you just, you can't, can't. What am I, English? You can't stop thinking of them. Um, you just can't stop thinking of them. Your mind is on them because passionately, this is passionate energy. This is, this is, you know, this person is for you. And look at that little Pisces in the cup. I love that. But you know, this person's for you, but you feel like you can't act towards it. And why? Because I think they can't act towards it. And so therefore we have a 301's reverse. This, this situation is not going to come to fruition because we have somebody holding back, right? With the strength reversed. What is the outcome for these two kids? Three cards. What is the outcome? I feel like I got a shuffle. Sorry, bear with me. What is the outcome for these two kids? What's going to happen here? Three cards. King of Wands reverse. The Four Swords reverse. Yeah, and the Tower. This person, how I feel, like if they if they go towards you, it's gonna it's gonna 
it, it's it's not going to end well. And I feel like it's not a, this has nothing to do with you. They're they're restless over this with the four swords reverse. You're the one who they, I feel like within the king of wands reverse again the passion is there. They are passionate towards you, but they can't act on it. They 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 feel the king of wands upright goes after what he wants, right? He's passionate. He's fair. He's he's charismatic. But the king of wands reverse is he has no confidence. He, he knows he's a king and that's how he appears, but he feels like he doesn't, his power is being taken away. Maybe he's in another relationship and that's where his power is. But when it comes to you, if they act on it, they feel like the tower is going to happen. Maybe it may be, it's their career holding them back. Maybe it's another relationship holding them back, but they are anxious over this with the, and restless with the four swords reversed. So just, this is very, all the readings are very similar. If you watch them, you'll see it's, it's feel, I feel like they're telling different versions of the same story. So I, because I do feel like many people have almost all the signs in their chart. So, and plus you can't really contain energy. You can't contain it to one sign. It, it's a story that wants to come out and it's going to come out in all flavors and colors. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's move on to Aquarius. What does Aquarius's person feel about them? And how does Aquarius feel about their person? Aquarius, Aquarius, I'm feeling, I always feel Ace of Cups, like a light pink. When I think of like the yin energy in this, you know, in this deck, is that the, oh, I don't know why I feel like picking that up, all that glitters, but I feel like the yin in this um, Oracle, you're the Ace of Cups, Aquarius. You're just always so light, like your air, you know, and feeling good. But what's going on with Aquarius? Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Aquarius, how does this person feel about you? Three cards. How does this person feel about you, Aquarius? How does this person feel about you? King of Swords reverse. There you are. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords re reverse. Wow. How do you feel about them? Aquarius, how do you feel about the strength you're holding back? Justice. Libra. Two major arcana, one more. And the Queen of Wands, wow. You are holding back. Now, this is this is different. Are some of you in a marriage? Maybe there's somebody else that you had your eye on, but you feel like, I mean, you're passionate towards this person with the Queen of Wands. I mean, look at you and you're pretty hot. The Queen of Wands is very attractive, charismatic. I mean, she goes after what she wants. She's, she, she's like, magnetic you know that's the word i could think of the queen of wands she gets shit done but you're also the justice maybe you're you're in i mean it's in between the strength and the queen of wands the justice card maybe some of you are married maybe maybe you find somebody else attractive or they find you attractive that's how i'm feeling like this person finds you attractive how this is is over here we have aquarius and the king of swords reverse maybe you're dealing with an aquarius but in the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords reverse. So they do see happily ever after with you, but they feel like they can't. They're, it's like avoiding the Seven of Swords reverse. They can't make it happen. It's like, um, it's almost returning to the scene of the crime energy or avoiding it. But I'm feeling very avoidance of this. They, I, in the Ten of Cups, I feel like either they're in a long-term relationship, maybe they have kids, they're married, they have a family, or you are, or both of you are. But the King of Swords reverse is, this is a person, they can't act on it. They, 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 they feel like usually when he's upright, he's very clear headed. He knows exactly where he's going. Not a very emotional guy with the, with the, the stone butterflies when he's upright, but he knows, he knows he's very clear. He knows exactly what he wants. He's going for it. When he's reversed, he feels like he doesn't know what he wants. He's kind of scattered because what he wants, I feel like he can't have the seven of swords reversed. But what he can't have, I feel like it's you and why he can't have you because I feel like you're married. Now he, the Ten of Cups is on his side and the Justice is on your side. Both of you could be married. Both of you are in a long-term relationship. Both of you, I feel like, I feel, this is the feeling I get. I don't know if you, how strong you feel about them, but I can tell you that they feel very strongly towards you. I feel like they're very, very attracted towards you. Look at that. The Knight of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck and the Ten of Wands reversed. It's like, I think, feel like both of you or them or you are laying a burden down because you can't go after what you want. You can't. And the high priestess is there too. I feel like this is, this, this whole thing is being kept secret from maybe your, your significant others. 
you're keeping this is a very secretive type of um, passion you have going on maybe each other don't even know I maybe they don't even know how you feel or you know how they feel but I will say I feel like they find you highly attractive but highly committed and therefore you you know you're almost unattainable with the strength card they I don't think they feel like they can get you I think they're very attracted to you but so yeah with the ten of cups they you know they have their own situation going but I do feel also that they want the ten of cups with you I feel like they really want it with you because look at this three women you're all three the strength the justice and the queen of wands I mean they find you highly highly powerful attractive fair I mean, I feel like they look at you, Aquarius, as everything they have ever wanted in the Ten of Cups, but they can't go for it. They can't go. I mean, with the King of Swords, he's he's not going to act on it. He feels it's it's a lack of power. He there's like he's got no power in this situation. What is the outcome here? This is now this reading is a little different because I almost feel like this person, this is how they feel towards you, and you're just doing your own thing over here. I'm not really getting strongly that you feel the same. I feel like this person's looking at you, Aquarius. Either you know it or not. I don't, I really don't know. It's not that clear to me. But I feel like you are looking strong and beautiful and attractive or handsome if, for the male readers. But this person sees you as everything. But they don't feel like they can go after you or and or obtain you. Give me the outcome for these two. What is the outcome? Three cards. Six of cups. Ace of swords. Yeah, and the Six of Swords reversed. This could be a friend. This could be a soulmate. This could be from past life. This could be somebody you dealt with. Either or, they know, Ace of Swords, they know you are their soulmate. They know you're the one that's going to make them happy. This you, you make them feel good is what I'm getting with this. Six of Swords reversed, they just can't go towards it. Uh, this, is, this, this is so confusing. I'll be honest. I don't know, I don't know how you feel, Aquarius. I'm not getting feelings from you. I'm just getting that you look really good, male or female, and you're doing your own thing and you look very strong in your life. It's this person feels like a mess with the King of Swords reverse. Even, I mean, they almost, it's like they're in their head so badly, like very depressed over this. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. And finally, we will do our lovely fish people, the Pisces. Sorry, Pisces. You're always, why are you always last? You know why? Because you're the baby of the Zodiac getting the hand-me-downs right no 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 Pisces is I feel Pisces are so positive Pisces are individuals they're positive they're okay usually because they're waiting they're doing their own thing they're entertaining themselves okay Pisces what do we have for you what is the person you're dealing with you're thinking about how do they feel about you Pisces three cards how does the person you're thinking about how do they feel about Pisces three cards well that wanted to come out moon reverse we'll take it that there you are okay how does pisces is like hey hey i'm here guys i'm reversed but i'm here oh my gosh another card flew out six of pentacles reversed you're you, this this deck is uh telling its own story one more card how do they feel about pisces in the eight of cups in their fields they're in their fields but okay how does pisces feel about them how does Pisces feel about them? How does Pisces feel about them? Seven of Cups reversed. Two cards of illusions. Wow. How does Pisces feel about them? One more or two more. Temperance reversed. Man, oh man, Pisces, who are you dealing with? One more for Pisces. And the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Oh, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Pisces, first of all, and the Devil Reverse. Who are you guys? Who are you guys dealing with, Lucifer? What's going on? I mean, why are you holding on to this energy? First of all, this 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 th this reading is a bit different than the others. I don't know. This is Pisces. First of all, let's let's get to you. Seven. What the hell? What the hell here? Seven of Cups reversed and the Temperance reversed. You, the, you were this person with the moon over here. You probably couldn't see the force from the trees in this relationship. They had you all types of confused. You were probably feeling, wondering, I'm not saying you were, but I think you were wondering, were you the only one? Were they with somebody else? Are they talking to other people? I mean, it was this racing thoughts of worry, right? This guy is just like, oh my gosh, 
which cup am I with this person? Who am I? But you see it. The illusion is gone. But your temperance reverse. You're still, you're left like this, this situation left you highly imbalanced, okay? But you're still in it. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Pisces, let's get real. You're still in here. Energetically, at least, you're still in here. You're, you're still like, you're almost like, you, I'm almost afraid like if this person is an eight of cups towards you, Pisces would be like, okay, let's go one more time, one more time. But for them, they're the moon reversed. They're the six of pentacles reversed and the eight of cups. I'll be honest. I'll be honest what I'm getting with this. I feel like this person breadcrumbs people. I feel like this person um, confuses people on purpose. Um, they make you think you don't know, you know, I mean, this is where you keep asking like, what are we? Or maybe you were even afraid to ask them because you knew this this situation wasn't very strong. It's like, what are we? This person breadcrumbed you and they took every bit of energy until you had nothing left to give. And guess what they did when you have nothing left to give? They are the eight of cups. That's them walking away, leaving you. And look at, we have the moon here too. I mean, maybe some of you are dealing with another Pisces. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of emotions going on. A lot of emotions. You're all over this reading. The Six of Pentacles is I feel like they breadcrumbed you so much and had you so confused to, to kind of, that's, that's what a manipulator does. They, they leave you confused so you keep giving to them and you're working harder because they keep pulling away. So maybe they love bombed you in the beginning and you felt like there was a lot of hope there and then they quickly pulled back and played mega mind games with you with the moon. And then when there was nothing left for you to give and you were on balance, there they are walking to another situation to do the same thing. This is just a, a very shallow energy. And because look at this, I mean, come on, we got the seven of swords, the four of pentacles and the de devil. This is Pisces holding on to this. And you know, you don't want them. You really don't want them. What you want is to finally be picked, to finally be chosen. It's like, that's, that's the mind games they, they play on you. They play so many mind games, you don't even know what you want. You just want to win. You just want to be noticed. I mean, this, these are like professional players, seriously. And this is you. It's like you can't let this go. Even though you know it is really bad for you, you feel chained to this situation. You're holding on. You are holding on for a Hail Mary that they're going to finally um, become a human, I want to say, <laughs> that they're finally going to have a heart. But they're the seven of swords. You know damn well they're the seven of swords. The lying, cheating. I mean, they're they're. I mean, this card can mean many things. But when you put it with this, you can't ignore it. They're the seven of swords, and this is at the, right also at the bottom of the deck is the four of cups reverse. You're feeling like you're still waiting. You're waiting, even though with the page of pentacles reverse, you know this isn't this isn't gonna go in your favor but you are really really stuck here death reverse scorpio it keeps going and going and going okay what is the outcome for these two i feel like i got a shuffle i feel like i need a shower pisces after this pisces you know you know this wasn't good for you pisces oh i need to give you guys a lecture for whoever's dealing with this you know this isn't good for you what are you doing playing around in the devil's playground okay pisces what what is the outcome for you guys three cards strength reverse the death and the magician mm -mm -mm. yeah I feel like the two things here I feel like this person the death and the magician is they go from one relationship and then they go into another it's like they they're and I love the magician I love these two cards actually I love these two cards but in this energy I don't I feel like one, this should be you. This could be advice. This could be you, Pisces. Focus, manifest somewhere else. You have, you have so much love to give. You, you, have, you, have the, you have the love, you have the knowledge, you have the pentacles, you have, you have so much to give another situation. Let this die to, this is the death and rebirth, you know, the, the phoenix rising on the ashes. This is after everything is giving, taken from you. This is you becoming something new, like you're transformed and you're going to manifest a new life. But I also feel like this is that person. This is what they do. When one thing dies, they just jump right into something else. And, but they always hold back with the strength reversed. They hold back because it's a, it's a, a manipulation tactic. They hold back. because It's like they love bomb maybe to get you on the hook like a fish. And then they kind of put you back in and make you feel like the seven of cups. You know, where is it? And this is how a person will feel is the seven of cups. This, you take the magician and the seven of cups. This is a master manipulator. 
and you sadly were just a game to you were just um you know it was like entertainment but when you had nothing left to give and maybe you were too invested and they 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 couldn't like they they just they're not enough i mean they're six of pentacles reversed on their side they they don't invest they don't invest in people they take they're takers and that left you highly unbalanced parched dry empty you know so the wheel of fortune is this is the cycle you're stuck in and you're the only one here i feel like saying that they're they're the eight of cups in the future and you're in the wheel of fortune they left they left the show and left you in it ah energies like this are disgusting it is disgusting it is going to be a tough lesson but i feel like this is going to be really tough for you to get out of what is i haven't done this before but i feel like i need to do this for you guys well give me a card what is pisces what's coming for pisces because this is awful what's coming for pisces what's coming for pisces what can they look forward to what do they need to focus on tell me about pisces here three cards three of wands nine of wands in the hermit reverse yeah you know hermit reverse you know this situation you know it's not going to work for you you need to come out of your head here you need to come out of isolation i feel like this this person too people like this they kind of isolate you from your friends your family the seven of cups reverse so they have you to themselves to take everything they can from you you're the hermit reverse you see the situation for what it was now it's time now you need to pick a new path no matter how scary it is um you need to pull your energy out of this and move forward you need to be the fearless warrior take take your losses take your hits and take it as a lesson but you need to get out of this put your guards up you need to you know put your guards up to this because if it comes back because i'm telling you this kind of energy when you're out of it and you're looking good and you look like you have something to give you they will be back you can call that as a test from the universe to see how strong you really are but these these people are such takers they take and take and take. Right now you have nothing left to give them, but soon you will because you're gonna feed your soul again. You're gonna feed a path. You're gonna find your passion again. You're, you know, you're gonna be manifesting. And when you do, when you're the magician and you're manifesting something new, they'll be back. Hopefully by then you're gonna outgrow them and you won't even, it was, you won't even notice them. It'll be like, ah, oh, ha, ha, why did I ever deal with you, loser? That's what I'm hoping. I'm really hoping, but Pisces, come on. If you're in the situation, you know what it is. You know what it is. I mean, this is this is hella toxic. A lot of toxic. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's what I have for you. Happy Easter for all you celebrating again. And I hope you guys have a very happy Sunday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.